Hey guys, what's up? It's Coach Mickey, and today we are going to be talking all about dance competition coming up, the new mask orders, uh, all the stuff that's been going on in our nation, and 4th of July. Stay tuned. Okay, as you can see, I have on my patriotic Mickey Mouse ears. Oh, they're so cute. Look at those. Look at how adorable these things are. First and foremost, I have to say happy birthday, America, and happy Independence Day to everyone. I am a proud patriot, and I cannot wait to celebrate this weekend because it's also the weekend of my birthday, too. So. Yes, I'm turning the big 5-0. I have lived a long time on this earth and I am a proud American that uh, literally, I, I, I'm like in shock over what's been going on in our country over the last year. And I'm just here to say, you guys, it's okay. We're gonna be okay. I swear, I swear we're gonna be okay. My husband served in the military for over 20 plus years and he feels like things are gonna just be okay. We're gonna get there. It's just gonna take a little bit of time. So what are my thoughts on how things have been going? Well, there's been a lot of craziness that's been going on in our country. And because we're a dance channel and we focus on dance studio life, like me talking about political issues is probably not the best place for this format or on this channel. But I am a patriot and I am an American. And there were literally many routines that we have done over the years that bring me great pride that showed that patriotism. We did a routine and dedication to the families of 9-11. We did a routine called Glory, talking about the, you know, um, racial divide in our country. We did a routine called Colorblind, where it was talking about all the different types of stereotypes out there and how those things need to be changed and we need to have respect for everyone. Um, and that routine, like, you know, showed support of LGBTQs and we didn't like fat shaming and we didn't like bullying and things like that. So all throughout our dance career at our dance studio, we have tried to instill the true meaning behind what I believe an American Patriot is freedom of rights and freedom of being able to say what you want to say in a healthy way, not in a, a scary, violent way. And I hate to see our country going under such turmoil during this time. And I am proud to be a patriot and I'm proud to be an American. And I hate seeing things happening like destroying of our nation's heroes and taking down statues and things like that. I'm not okay with that. I am totally in support of protesting against racism and I'm in support of police reform, but I'm not in support of defend defunding the police. I'm not in support of attacking our military and um, tearing down what democracy is and what our constitution is. So those are the things that I believe in and I defend and I will until my dying day. Let's move on to the masks and the COVID-19 stuff that's been going on. Woo! <laughs> okay, um, I just found out I have a family member who has contracted COVID-19. Um, she lives in California. She works in the healthcare system. So thankfully she's okay. She's not um, in any dire, you know, situation, but it has finally hit home for our family that someone we know actually has the disease. Now, COVID-19 is a thing that we all need to take serious and I am glad that we took measures at the beginning of the outbreak 
to do that. However, the mask orders, the demanding to wear masks, this has now become a political thing. Here I am back on the political side of the spectrum again, and I really don't wanna go down that road, but we have just been mandated by our governor in the state of Kansas that she would like everybody to wear masks at all times when social distancing is not available. That's inside or outside. So she's wanting it to be implemented actually tomorrow, which is Friday, the day before uh, 4th of July weekend. I'm like, I totally understand if you have a business and you feel that you, people coming into your business should wear a mask, I support that. I like, I'm going to Disney World and they require masks. I have no problem wearing that. I had to go on an airplane where they required masks and I did that. I didn't do such a good job, but I tried the best I could. Um, with us in our business, Courtney has said that she is not comfortable with having children wear a mask. Um, at dance practices because it is so hot in our studio and then we're asking them to exercise. We're concerned that that could cause issues where kids could um, not have enough oxygen to breathe to be able to um, practice properly. So we're gonna leave the option available to family members that if you want to wear a mask, when you come into our business, you're welcome to, uh, the kids are welcome to wear a mask, but we're not going to require it until it's an actual state law demanding that everybody follow that order. We're going to leave the option available to our students this week coming up after this mandate is placed we are going to town on parade. Um, I'm sure what's going to happen is we're going to have to wear masks going into the building, probably while we're sitting in the audience. And I'm sure that the kids will have to wear them as soon as they get on and off the stage. Now wearing them on the stage, I'm not sure if they're going to require that. I, I understand the concern and I respect it and I support it. Like I said, I have a family member who has COVID-19 right now in California. She's going through it right now. She's isolating through it right now. So I get it. I get that there is an urgency for us to be concerned and for us to take precautions. That's the whole point of social distancing. That's the whole point of the options to wear masks. That's the whole point of cleaning, um, sanitizing all of our services and areas. And if you're sick to stay at home, like I get all that. I don't get the feeling of being shamed for it. I'm seeing it a lot on Facebook and on other social media platforms, especially like on Twitter, um, where people are just shaming someone for not wearing a mask. So we have to rethink as a nation, like what we're doing when we shame someone or cancel them. Um, I'm not okay with cancel culture at all. I'm a big fan of YouTube. I love, I've loved YouTube for years and there's this huge movement right now on the YouTube uh, platform, especially in the beauty area and the, with beauty gur gurus and stuff. If you're a YouTube fan, then you know what I'm talking about. They're canceling a lot of big YouTubers right now. Um, it's all about shaming each other. It's all about, you know, showing receipts and all this craziness and there's YouTubers that are being demonetized and their platforms are being pulled down. I mean, there's a lot of negativity in the world right now, you guys. There's a lot of hate, there's a lot of fear mongering, and there's a lot of uh, shaming. And I'm not okay with that. I think what we need to do is uplift each other. We need to start being more positive. We need to start, um, supporting each other in a way that's going to uplift us, not tear us down. I don't want to burn it down to the ground to make change. We can make change by uplifting, not burning it down. Martin Luther King said that himself. And I believe in what he, he says and what he believes. And I believe in the patriotism of all of us having that right but I don't believe in attacking. I don't believe in calling people Karens. I don't believe in people calling people the N word. I don't believe in people calling um, uh, 
people uh, wrong for being transgender or bi you know bisexual or or gay or whatever. I, I don't believe in any of that negativity. Um, I believe in us uplifting each other, supporting each other, um, and in times of direness, we respect each other and we just have to figure out a way to get along. I don't even know how to express this enough. When it comes to the dance world, we really, really need to remember there are many dance studios and dancers that are out there that have not had the opportunity to even get back in their studio, let alone go to a competition. When we go to nationals this week, let's really support each other, okay? Um, let's, let's be better than we have in the past. We're not, I'm, I, I don't even care about awards. Awards is the furthest thing from my mind right now at this point, especially with everything else that's going on in the country. I just want my kids to have some bit of normalcy to be able to get back to what they love. And they love dancing and they love competing. Um, and that's what I'm supporting. So I'm gonna be cheering on every studio that's up there on that stage. I'm going to high five everyone who has the opportunity to be there. Well, I won't high five because of social distancing. But do you understand what I'm saying? Like I want to support that. I'm going to defend everybody's like pride and happiness about even getting back into the dance arena. And I am definitely not going to be shaming on anyone or talking crap or making another studio or team feel like, oh, well, you're not good enough to be in the showcase or whatever, you know, for the grand overall national championship um, stuff. So I hope that the dance community and the dance world can be an example for everyone in the country. And that's what I'm hoping my vlog will show is that we're not gonna shame each other if you're not wearing a mask. We're not going to uh, disrespect you for um, your costuming or you know the, the routine that you did or trying to backstab you into losing. We're not gonna do that. Um, so I really hope that we as a nation can try and stop canceling each other and start supporting each other a little bit more and respecting each other in a way that will help make our nation better, not worse. So those are my two cents. <laughs> I hope you guys all have a great, safe, and happy 4th of July. And as always, Peace out, y'all. Bye!